Okay, uh, this project is done. Actually, it was done a while. I just made a couple minor updates to this compressor. And uh, first of all, I want to say that uh, going by the advice I've got from some people on YouTube, uh, if you're looking for a good compressor and you're not looking to spend a whole lot of money, if you're looking for used, I would say that the Quincy QR uh, series, like the 325 or 340, depending on your requirements, would be a great compressor. Uh, this particular compressor behind me um, is 36 years old. Um, it was a one-time owner, and uh, I don't know if it was really neglected or not, but uh, going by some of the outdated um, features on it, such as the intake filter and um, the outside inspection cover, it's never been touched. Um, when I first got it, uh, if you look in the, one of the previous videos, I talked about that I actually had flushed out the... Um, crankcase and the oil was pretty black and pretty thick and pretty gooey so uh, other than that I haven't done anything to it really except for put a rear seal and a couple uh, updates on it so um, what I've got here is uh, I finally got the 220 volt tank drain installed and I've also got a uh, intake muffler uh, to help uh, reduce some of the rattle a little bit or some of the uh, low echo or low frequency echo and uh, that's all it is. It's pretty simple. It's just basically a muffler. Um, the compressor is actually pretty quiet, but when I went to this new style filter uh, compared to the old filter, which actually had like a sponge wrapped around it or a piece of foam, uh, it was actually a little bit quieter. And this room it's in right now is only about 12 feet wide and 36 feet long or 34 feet long with a sheet metal ceiling and a lot of uh, heavy equipment in here for doing sheet metal work. So it's a little bit more of an echo. So this filter I got pretty cheap from the same place I've gotten some of the other parts from in the past. And uh, it uh, I think it cost me like $45. And it was well worth it because it's definitely take out a little bit of that echo. So it's, it's a lot quieter. Uh, now as you basically hear is the uh, valve chatter a little bit and the humming of the motor. So... Um, that basically is the same as 110, the only difference is it is 220. And uh, what I did was mount it to the bottom side of the contactor. And then I also uh, put on this toggle switch as a, a disconnect uh, to cut the power of the compressor. So, uh, last video I did, I had posted on YouTube, I shot with my uh, Android phone and um, the audio quality wasn't quite there. So I'm actually using my camcorder now and I'll just do a real brief video of it in operation and uh, you can hear it run without, well, with muffler. So, all right. Oh, um, the way this is set up is I've got the tank drain to purge every 30 seconds and it's got like a two second purge time. So the compressor takes about a minute and a half or a minute and 22 seconds to uh, purge the, uh, or to fill the tank. And um, I think the, the uh, auto drain is a little less than 30 seconds. I think I timed it to be like 25 seconds. So it'll purge about three times uh, during its cycle. So, alrighty. So yeah, you can get a good idea as far as uh, how quiet it actually is. Um, it uh, just, it's, it's a great compressor. I would have never have owned a Quincy of this quality. I would have actually ever expend the money. Uh, I recently got a quote from a distributor uh, nearby and to replace this bad boy with this particular model and configuration is well over $3,500. So, um, it's it's a, a huge industrial unit. I guess the Quincy QR series is rated for a 100% duty cycle, although I don't think anyone would ever recommend it running at 100% um, the time, but I guess it will handle it. So 
Um, and I don't even have it set up for 175 PSI. I think I've got it set up for 160, so it is a little um, a lower pressure as well. But then again, I believe this pump is good for 200 pounds intermittent and 175 continuous. So, uh, like I said, it's, it's a great compressor. Um, I've looked at the other Quincy's in the past, such as the uh, QT5 and the QT7. Um, you get what you pay for, but they're by no means the same compressor as this here. The the head itself, or the, the pump itself, is smaller, and I believe there's some aluminum parts in that pump as well. I want to say maybe the cylinders are aluminum, or maybe the pistons are aluminum, I don't remember, and uh, or the head. I don't know. There was some aluminum on that, and they uh, did that just to basically cheapen the machine up so it's more uh, affordable and it is designed to be sold in like your fleet farms, tractor supplies, stuff like that and you can get a, a QT5 for I think 1800 bucks without a magnetic starter and what they do there is um, they just tie the motor directly into the pressure switch this one this pressure switch as well if I remember correctly will hold 30 amps but uh, it's a lot of current on a, a switch like that so uh, that's why they always go with the magnetic starter and that's what I did here too as well so anyways it's a great compressor and if you're looking for a good used one I would highly uh, look into one um, I paid $600 for this one and I think on the, one of the videos I posted one of the finalization videos I talked about all the parts I put into it and I want to say I think I spent a little over $1100 when it was all said and done so basically I got the compressor for I think $650 that included tax and then I spent uh, you know $450 roughly in uh, parts not including a motor I luckily had a five horse motor so if I had to buy a motor that would have been another $400 plus so anyways like I said I would highly recommend a Quincy QR series if you're looking for a good used one I'm sure champions are good as well um, but like I said I got a Quincy here and being it's 36 years old, never been touched, knock on wood, uh, it's been a great unit. So hopefully I get another uh, 20 years out of it.